up tech nuts Luddy here again uh first thing i want to say today uh we're in really festive mood thank you so much to everyone uh for those who are unaware right now i have double the subscribers that i had yesterday at this time so i don't know what happened the algorithm gods or someone reacted or something really good so thank you very much to everyone uh second we got the heads on yay We'll talk about that later. Um, yeah, no, I just want to thank everyone um, for all the subscribers and likes and comments and all that sort of jazz. So let's keep it up. Uh, and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because people seem to like it. Uh, yesterday, I had a headache. I'm feeling a lot better. I know a couple of people were wondering if I had anything to do with the brake cleaner that I was working with. That is not the case. We always work in a ventilated area. All the doors are open and we always have a nice big fan. There it is. I only turn it off. It's actually really sweaty. I'm probably going to take this off. It's, it's hot. It's yucky. Um, yeah, I always turn the fan off when I do these videos because it's just too noisy. Um, so, yeah, feeling a lot better. I'm still not entirely sure what it was. Um, but, yeah, probably not the brake cleaner because I've worked with it God knows how many times now. Anyway, back to what we were doing today. Uh, we've done quite a lot. I was gonna talk a lot about, I was gonna talk about a lot of things. Uh, decided I'll probably do that tomorrow because we put the heads on. Now, why have I not filmed it? It is annoying, time sensitive, tedious process. And there's only two of us and you generally need two people. We can't do it with one. Um, but two people is good and well we're being paid to do this so uh, time is money but I can still explain it and I might try and see if I can do before the other one but I've got lots of training aids let's get into it I'm on my chair it's the noisy hen here so there you go that is head on one side of the engine uh, they're all talked up all the head bolts here, all nice and good. And more importantly, we have a nice seal so you can see just how essential everything is. So for those uninitiated, uh, there are no head gaskets on Meteor engines. They are all done with seals, which are these little ones here. Um, yeah, all the way through. Uh, no head gaskets on them. I'm sure someone somewhere might have one day made up a head gasket, but the number of people actually doing anything with meteors is sort of between common and not worth doing. So I doubt anyone actually has them. But we've managed with all the seals that we have. Uh, we use the gantry down here and our special little tool so we just put those on uh, these bolts here and we just lower it down uh, millimeter precision just tapping here and there uh, sounds a lot easier than it actually is and we will get into that right now so here is our dead engine on most engines it is entirely possible to feed the pistons from the top down. So basically you fit the head and then uh, you leave this. Oh, how do... You leave this off, the, the actual head part. You put the bores on and then you feed the pistons into that. You cannot do that on meteors because of the way that the um, crank connects to it, uh, you have to feed the pistons through the sleeves um, bottom up, which means you got to do it by sliding the heads down. Annoying process, but there are ways. So I will bring you back over to my teaching assistants. That's just my wheelie chair. Okay, broken piston number one and broken piston number two. Why are they broken? Um, our control rings uh, are broken and I think the com 
bus drinks. Yeah, they're pretty good. Regardless, um, yeah, these, they get super brittle and we just can't um, get new ones all that easily, but we've got enough. Anyway, enough of the rambling. How do we sort this out? The bottom one is quite easy. You simply get a pair of pliers. Um, you can just see the little oil wells right there. Pair of pliers, squeeze them together like, oh, it's really hard to show. Basically, just pinch them together. And then uh, as the sleeve, here's one of our sleeves. It goes like so. Obviously our control rings cannot fit under there without a little bit of compression. Um, it sounds quite a lot easier, but this is, you know, without the heads attached and it barely goes on. So what do we do? We make up a little collar. So this is just a bit of um, a sheet metal that we've got lying around uh, and a um, clamp. Do up the clamp and that compresses all of our rings. You only, this is actually a bad one. We need it a little bit shorter and I'll get to that in a second. Um, but as long as it covers all four of these rings, you get as gold. Now, what happens is as the head is coming down, you make sure that you cut little grooves into this. So these ones here, and that stops this collar from actually sliding up into our sleeve as you're lowering the head down. But as you're lowering the head down, you can see this all comes down at the same time. The pistons themselves are a smaller diameter than this. So they get, a, they get in quite easily, no issues. Um, in fact, these have a slight taper on them, which makes life all the more easier. The problem is that you are not doing them one at a time. You're often doing them two at a time. So the outside two pistons the middle two pistons, uh, sorry, yeah, the middle two pistons, and then the two inner pistons, almost always at the same time. If you're lucky like us, um, this, um, these ones are sometimes shorter or longer, and basically it's just a manufacturing variation. We'll turn the right way up again. They're just a manufacturing variation. Um, sometimes you get shorter ones, and that can help a ton because then you're only having to do just a little bit here and there so um yeah basically as you tap your engine down uh, your head down this slowly comes down once it gets to the control ring uh, uh, the second control ring i should say which is this one here the oil control ring i've done it up too tight once it gets to there and once the piston is covering your top four rings, then you can take it off, pull it out, and then you just continue to lower the heads. Now you do this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth across all of the pistons, uh, making sure that you don't put too much pressure on any one of these because they will break like this one here. They are very, very brittle. Uh, yes, sometimes you can get uh, there are piston ring removing tools, uh, but these have all been used and that sometimes just puts enough stress on them uh, that they become too brittle to remove. They're perfectly fine um, to put back in the engine as long as they are not broken. So that's the way we do it. Um, yeah, it's... There's, there is a very subtle art to doing it, uh, but I think we manage quite all right. Well, of course we do. This is the, I forget how many we've done now. Uh, so yeah, that's the way we do it. But yeah, these need to be a little bit shorter because what does happen by the time this reaches here, the bottom is starting to compress, uh, sorry, starting to press 
on this bottom control ring and that can fracture it as well. So you realistically, if you make a band up, you only need it to be as thick as these four rings, um, which is what we, we used over there. Um, so yeah, this is just a yucky one um, that we had lying around. So yeah, that is how you install the heads on your Meteor engine. So, hope you like that little rambliness. Um, again, I'm just amazed that so many people are watching. Uh, but yes, we thank you. Um, and definitely keep doing what you guys are doing because I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. So hit the like, subscribe, comment. Um, now that I'm getting a lot of comments, I'm definitely like, I'm still trying to keep up with answering questions. If I miss it, um, I do know my little app, it doesn't let me know if you have replied to a comment of mine. I do try and scroll through, but there's a lot. So, But I am definitely still answering questions. So ask questions um, and I will try to answer them. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye.